Hello and welcome to the fifth video, um, which isn't about the power supply as I said in the last video, but um, that'll come probably after this, but I have this next to me. This video will be about uh, the carbon fiber rods, rods, uh, third time's the chime, carbon fiber rods for the um, delta printer for the arms. Um, European, uh, if you're getting them in the US, uh, just go for the kit from Tri-D Printing. Um, if you feel like doing a bit more work, I guess you could get some uh, rods yourself and cut them, like I did. But here in uh, Denmark, um, it was really expensive in shipping, getting those rods all the way from the US. So I got some uh, one meter um, uh, length uh, carbon fiber rods, or tubes actually, from a local, um, local RC shop. Uh, well, local, I just found them on the internet, but it's uh, from Denmark, so everything in Denmark is local to Denmark. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got them from a, a Danish uh, RC shop. Uh, I have a link to that in the mostly European bill of materials on the GitHub. Um, I've realized I've been saying that a bit in these videos. Uh, when I'm saying I have a link to that in the uh, bill of materials, I just want to make clear I only made the bill of materials. I have nothing to do with the rest. Um, except for the not mutt on the idlers, but I have um, nothing to do with the rest. All the credits there go to uh, mostly theories, I think, um, but other people might have contributed. I don't know. I think Soup made this extruder, um, but I'm definitely not taking credit for anything else. I just want to make that clear. Um, credits do what credits do, and I could not have designed a printer myself. Holy shit, no. Um, but yeah, uh, I have a link to that on the uh, Mostly European but the materials. Uh, some tips. Don't do what I did. Uh, don't be impatient. Uh, <laughs> don't just cut them. Uh, Thuz has a... Uh, go ask Thuz on the uh, IRC. Um, or go check the GitHub if they have been added there. Um, I might go make a pull request where I add those files if he... If he thinks that would be a good idea. Uh, where I add them under a file called miscellaneous tools maybe. A folder called tools. Um, but he has a 3D jig uh, where you can mount these in one end, like just shove your rod in and then you shove them, th shove them through this uh, 3D printed piece and then so they sit stuck down here and then you have a piece up here with a slot for a hacksaw and he says you get great results when you use that for cutting. Uh, I just caught them in a cheap little uh, jig I had, a aluminium jig which had a very wide gap for the blade, so it could wander a bit, and it didn't have any fixing in the other end. So as you can see, these are my tolerances. I think I got pretty close, but I but I am gonna pass my camera for because let me stand up. My voice will probably get very close now, but uh, I'm gonna try not bend in over the camera because it gets even worse then. Uh, but yeah, these are the. Oh, that's really hard to see. Actually. It might be in the final video, but it is in my display up here. But yeah, they're not great. The largest variance is 2 millimeters, um, but that's fine for me. I'm gonna go sand them. I made them a bit longer uh, than I needed intentionally. I'm still waiting for the Traxxas hot ends. Uh, no, rod ends, not hot ends. Uh, but I am gonna be getting those soon. The uh, store I bought them from online. Um, had a stock error, but uh, it was corrected, and they ordered some new parts for me. Uh, I ordered them; they got them back in stock, which is nice. Uh, so it should be arriving soon. Uh, for assembling these, uh, I believe I've gotten the essence of it. I haven't yet done it, so I can't share any experience. But I'm just going to get the jig. So this is uh, one of the jig files on uh, that uh, Thuz is made for this. So the idea of this is that you have um, this plate here, and you have an M3 bolt, or M4. I don't know. I had M I had long M3 bolts on hand. Let's dig up here. I, I tried to get this as straight as possible. I don't know if it matters. Uh, I don't think it will matter because uh, I'm not gonna be print. I'm not gonna be doing six of the time at a time with this. I'm only going to be doing one at a time, because I want to make absolutely sure that the distance is identical. So what I believe you do is you take these, you slide them into some V-slot, you tighten down this so it does not move, 
So then it sits like this in your V slot. And then you take this other one, identical, uh, and you tighten that down in the other end with these two centers apart uh, to the exact dimensions that you want. So, I don't know, I think I'll go for 460 or 470, depending on how much I grind these down, uh, millimeters apart. And then you put the Traxxas uh, rod end on there um, with an M4 set screw or bolt or something like that, uh, where you cut the head off but M4 because, oh yeah, I should mention that. These are six millimeter outer diameter, four millimeter inner diameter uh, carbon fiber tubes. Um, yeah, so you put the Traxxas run-ins on here and here, um, and then you put these on and epoxy them in. And as long as you don't untighten these between rods and just use the same setup for every rod they should have exactly the same distance between the rod ends and you should be fine. I'll share my experiences in an update video when I've done this. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, I feel like I've forgotten something. I have. Oh well, I'll write in an annotation if it's important. If not, then it was probably a minor comment. But thanks for watching and uh, bye.